Hey there, what's up everybody, Indro here and today we'll be creating this fantasy photo manipulation using some techniques like soft merge and color correction. I hope you'll find today's video helpful. Today in our Desert Whale Fantasy Photo Manipulation, I use stock images downloaded from unsplash.com and pexels.com. After browsing for almost half an hour, I landed up with these stock images that I thought would be perfect fit for today's artwork. So we're in Photoshop and let's load up our base image of the desert. Here is our desert image and let's just drag and drop it. By the way, I'm using a 2000 by 2300 pixels canvas. Let me show you by going to image, image size, and you can see it's 2000 pixels by width and 2300 pixels by height. All right, now with our desert image placed, let's drag and align it to the bottom of our canvas. Now let's add our pyramids. I'll simply select our image and drag and drop it onto Photoshop. So here we have our pyramid. Now, as you can see, we need to color correct the pyramids to match the color tone of the desert. And that we can do very easily by what I call a hidden tool in Photoshop because most of us might have missed it or doesn't use it too often. So let me show you the trick. But before that, we have to open the image which we'll be using as the source color as a new document. So as I'll be matching the color of these pyramids to the color of the desert, I'll be opening the desert image onto a new document. I'll simply take the desert image and drag and drop it onto Photoshop so that it opens as a new image. With that done, let me go back to our main document and make sure your target layer is selected and it's not a smart object. So let's right click and select rasterize layer and then go to image adjustments and go all the way down to match color. Once you click it, a dialog box will open up and over here you will find the source drop down menu. And here all the documents that are open in Photoshop will be listed over here and we'll just select the desert image and voila you can see it instantly applies that color tone to our target image. It's very handy. Let's click OK. With that done, I'll again right click and select convert to smart object so that we do not degrade the quality of our image as we scale it up and down. Now I'll bring up our free transform tool by pressing Ctrl T or Command T on the keyboard and let's resize it to what looks good to us. And I'll select the tick mark to commit the changes. Now let's create a layer mask by selecting our layer and clicking this layer mask icon and I'll take my brush, I'll take a soft round brush, I'll keep the hardness to zero and I'll keep the opacity to 100%, flow to 100% and let's mask out the areas that we do not need. So for that we would need color black and as you know if we paint on a layer mask with black it hides our consoles and if we paint on a layer mask with white it reveals our shows. So let's select color black and start painting on the layer mask to get rid of the areas that we do not want. All right, so that would be good, I guess. Let's take the pyramids down a bit and that should be fine. Now let's add our sky. For that, I ended up with an ocean image. I don't know why I should have taken a sky image. That should be more simpler. All right, so after expanding the image and filling my entire canvas, let's click the tick mark to commit the changes. We'll again create a layer mask on this sky layer by clicking this layer mask icon and Take our brush tool, color black and start painting to get rid of the areas that we do not want. Now we're done with the masking and we can see that the color of the sky doesn't match the color theme that we're going for. So we need to add some color grading onto the sky. So to do that, we'll add a selective color adjustment layer on top of the ocean layer. So let's go to our new adjustment layers and select selective color. 
we'll click this icon to clip this selective color layer to the ocean layer so that whenever we change something over here it will only affect the ocean layer and not other layers that are below it make sure absolute is selected and let's go to our cyan channel and increase the yellows to around 15 next go to the blues channel and decrease the cyan to around minus 23 decrease the yellows to around minus 2 that should be fine and we'll also go to the whites and decrease the blacks so that our clouds become a bit more prominent with these adjustments we can see that the sky is still a bit darker so we'll fix it by adding an exposure adjustment layer let's again go to our new adjustment layer icon and select exposure we'll again select this icon to clip it to the ocean layer and let's increase our exposure a bit that should be fine and let's decrease the gamma correction to brighten up our sky i think that matches more or less to our sky on this lower half of the image with that done let's add our whales I'll again select our whales image and drag and drop it onto Photoshop. I'll resize the image a bit and maybe place it over here. Maybe I'll reduce the size of the whales a bit. Perfect. Now again the boring part, let's add a layer mask and let's paint out the areas that we do not need. So I'll speed up through this boring process and get back when I have masked out all these unwanted areas. And if you're wondering if I used a pen tablet or mouse, I did use a mouse. Although I have a Wacom Intuos, but I didn't use it because most of you might not have a pen tablet. So I wanted to do it with mouse. That should be more or less done. I'll simply soften out the edges of this water. I'll just soften out the edges a bit just like this maybe we'll increase the opacity and flow and I'll drag out this water a bit so that it fills the entire canvas let's rasterize our layer by right clicking and selecting rasterize layer to stretch the water and fill the canvas let's select part of this water and we will bring out our free transform tool by pressing ctrl t or command t on the keyboard and make sure your maintain aspect ratio button is not checked and let's drag the right anchor point to drag and fill it on our canvas let's commit the changes and let's do the same for the left part we'll drag out and mark our region We'll press Ctrl T or Command T to bring up our free transform tool and drag the left anchor point and fill the entire canvas. Let's commit our changes. We'll again need to feather out these regions so we'll take our brush tool and take color black and make sure you are selecting the layer mask and let's paint on it to fade out this region. That looks fine now we need to color correct our whales layer so that it matches the overall color tone of our composition let's take the same approach of our sky layer let's create a selective color adjustment layer let's go to the new adjustment layer icon and select selective color we'll clip this layer only to the whales layer by clicking this clipping icon and we'll adjust the blue so that it matches the sky with that in mind let's go to the science and bring up our yellows a bit now let's go to the blues and over here also let's try to bring up the yellows a bit and see how it's affecting let's keep it like this and let's try to bring up the science and see if it brings back some cyan color not much so let's keep it just like that Next, we'll try to brighten up the wheels by adding an exposure adjustment layer. Let's go to the new adjustment layer icon and select exposure and click this icon to clip the exposure layer to the wheels. Let's increase the gamma correction to brighten up and we'll bring back some shadows by decreasing the exposure a bit. That should be okay. Now I'll just create a new layer on top of it and 
press alt or option on the keyboard and click in between these two layers so that you can see it's changing to the clipping mask icon and we'll change the blending mode to screen and take our brush and hold alt and option on the keyboard so that our icon changes it to a color picker icon and we'll take a sample of this sky and softly paint on this water so that the color kind of matches with the color of the sky we'll also use this method to blend the harsh edges Okay, I think I'm done with this one. We can also use the same technique on our sky layer around this region to match the color and blend it properly with the sky over here. So I'll select this exposure layer, create a new layer and hold alt or option on the keyboard and click in between the two layers to add the new layer as a clipping mask to our ocean layer. And we'll take a sample of this sky color at the bottom. We'll simply hold alt or option on the keyboard and click on this blue color to get a sample and we'll change the blending mode of this layer to color and as we paint on it you can see that it's changing the color of this region to match the color of the sky over here this should create a soft blending and a smooth transition through this region i shall keep it just like that next with any serial or fantasy photo composition I personally feel that we should add human subjects because it really brings out the magnitude of the composition. Let's take our last image sample and place it onto Photoshop. We'll take these two camel riders over here. Let's quickly mask them out. Again, I'll fast forward through this boring process and get back when it's done. Well, the masking is more or less done and let's resize the camel riders and place them at a proper place in our composition. Let's bring up our free transform tool by pressing Ctrl T or Command T on the keyboard. I'll right click and flip horizontal and let's resize them. I think this size should be better and we can place them over here. Let's zoom in a bit and we need to color correct them. We'll add a dusty feel of the desert. Let's create a new layer on top of the camel riders and I'll hold alt or option on the keyboard and click in between the two layers to create a clipping mask. Then with my brush tool selected, I'll again press alt or option on the keyboard to bring up my color picker tool and click on the desert once to get a sample of the color and I'll paint on the camel riders just like that. Then I'll change the blending mode to soft light to add that dusty desert feel. Next I'll create a layer below the camel riders by pressing ctrl or command on the keyboard and clicking this new layer icon and take a dark color change the blending mode of this layer to multiply and add a subtle shadow beneath this camel riders i'll transform this shadow a bit take down the opacity a bit next i'll add some dust as the camels are moving across the desert i'll create a new layer Take my brush tool, press alt or option on the keyboard and take a sample of this light color from the desert. Make sure my opacity and flow are reduced and I'll just tap once or twice to create a sensation of the dust. That should be fine. Now we'll add some finishing touches by color correcting some areas like brightening up some areas of the desert. I'll create a new layer on top of these pyramids and take a sample of this desert color. Zoom in a bit and try painting on the desert to get the perfect look that looks best in my eyes.
With this technique, I'm also trying to blend the pyramids a little better with the desert. I'll add some hint of sand dust behind the pyramid. So I'll create a new layer below the pyramid and in between the desert layer. With my desert color selected, I'll just add some sand color over here so that it creates an impression of some sand dust in the air. Maybe that's too much. We'll create a layer mask and paint with black to hide some part of it all right so with everything done let's select the top layer and we'll add a color lookup table to add a uniform color cast on our entire composition let's go to our new adjustment layer and select color lookup from this load 3d lot drop down we will select fuji turner 250d and we'll maybe reduce the opacity to around 60%. That looks fine. And lastly, I would suggest to add a little bit of noise because digital photos always have some noise added to them. So let's do that by creating a new layer. Let's rename it as noise. We'll first fill it with 50% gray. To quickly do that, go to edit, fill, and select 50% gray from the contents dropdown. Click OK. Then go to filter, noise, add noise, make sure Gaussian and monochromatic is selected, take down the amount to around 12%, click OK and change the blending mode to overlay. Next we can take down the opacity a bit, maybe to around 45% or we can take it down a bit, maybe to around 30%. That looks fine. So here we are our Desert Well Fantasy Photo Manipulation. I hope you liked today's video and if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to support my channel. Do let me know in the comment sections below what kind of photo manipulation you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video and till then, enjoy creating.